Oh, yes. I remember the truck Christmas end yeah. of it. It was just astonishing. Probably one of the biggest things at that point that Shorten Street had done, yeah. as far as having to go and set up the set somewhere else and redress and pull a truck in and yeah. night shoots. and. Were you in that? Were you there when it was? No, I, I was, no, I was no. Scene, I Carmen and no. Kirsty and possibly um, Marge were in the reception oh, right. at, that, at that night. Yeah. Yeah. But it was just cool. That was yeah. That was that was the biggest stunt to that point, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. at that point, because that was quite early mm. on. Yeah. The still looked a bit fake, though, didn't it? <laughs> it yeah. would be a good <laughs> giggle. It would be a good giggle. I don't think it would hold up, but <laughs> the acting, of course, would be impeccable. Oh yeah, yeah. Just the special. And effects. they did some slow mo stuff too. I remember Kirsty oh. sort of the shot of Kirsty going <gasps> like that, uh. which which at that point they hadn't done any of that sort of stuff, oh. which you always kind of go, ooh, ooh breaking <laughs> breaking ground on Chilton Street, oh. and. Um, you know, a big percentage of the audience wasn't watching because it was on Christmas Day. Oh, yeah. Or Christmas night. Yeah, but as soon as they knew Carmen was going, they started watching because she was a extremely, extremely well-loved character. Yeah, yeah, but it was like, I mean, a big thing to do on a Christmas night, but everyone was... Oh, yeah, yeah oh, that's right. Yeah, we totally it. bummed people out on Christmas And that was when we, we Eve. first, yeah. the next year, they didn't show it over Christmas. Oh, because yeah, because all these children wake up on weren't, Christmas weren't Day weren't crying. Watching. Going, come and dead, I don't care about my presents, come and dead. Yeah, how odd, mm. What a horrible choice to do it on Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah, the burning building, Linium computer thing was amazing. It's once, once again the same thing, being on location, doing something that's physically demanding and the reality of the environments there, like we set up... Uh, the particular cor corridor in another studio that we could burn. There were fire bars all around, and it was just so much fun. Who rescued and, you? Um, Chris Hobbs was it? came in, and he threw we threw water over ourselves. It's Frank Malone. <laughs> Frank Malone. <laughs> that was, just, and he carried me out, and and obviously it's all you know shot at different times and then edited together, and it was it was a lot of fun. Carl doesn't remember. I don't ever. remember. I remember. Yeah, sitting there watching the countdown or pretending to watch a countdown or something and then the explosion happening, but I've got a shocking memory. I don't remember. Well, the reality of it is you just had probably that one scene. That's and, probably all you know, I had to do, yeah. Whereas it was all edited together and scenes that, you know, you weren't in all of them. Mm. You just caused all of them. I, I loved the Dom storyline. I thought it was great. I loved working with Shane because he's a cool guy. But I loved it because it was just really <laughs> creepy and weird. And I hadn't had a story like that before. Like, you know, did Dom hate Chris or was he like kind of secretly in love with him or did he want to kill him or did he just want to be him? And it was great because it was just so creepy and horrible. And then the extent of Chris's hatred towards Dom too, it was, it was fun playing that. And then, of course, Dom topping Chris's hatred with his own and stringing him up in a barn. Yeah. Crucifix style. <laughs> Crucifix style. <laughs> the only problem was the rope they got. And I'm going to sound like a real whinging actor here now. I thought, oh, they'll have some nice kind of silky soft rope because you won't be able to tell because I had to kind of be strung up this. It was the harshest plastic kind of horrible stuff and I totally had to support my own weight with it. So I was totally whinging all day. But, but it helped, of course, it helped my uh, pain that I had to... Uh, Express. And did they have you standing on a chair and stuff for your close-ups? Yeah, kind of, but, 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 it was better but in order to get that effect of really hanging, I had to kind of stand on my tiptoes oh. and, and take my own weight, you know, because yeah, yeah. otherwise you could tell I was just standing up. Yeah, mm. yeah. And then that great um, stunt with the, uh, it was a good stunt with the exploding barn. Yeah, that was, uh, I loved that storyline. Was I nervous on the first day? I was, I don't, I don't, I don't think I was that nervous. I was more overwhelmed by the entire thing. Um, I started getting nervous when I realised that I wasn't very good. Oh. And it took a long time to sort of fit into the character and to actually have any acting ability. So, not so much nerves, but um, yeah, what would you call it? Yeah, I was nervous. Before I started work on Shoreland Street, I was pretty excited about it. We were all pretty excited about it, and we're shooting the show, and the feedback from the network executives was really good. And we thought, wow, you know, we're going to be on TV and we're going to be famous, we're going to be on TV every night, that's going to be, that's going to be great, you know, people are going to love us. And then the show came out and people hated us and they would like stop their cars to abuse us on the streets and it was all a bit, a bit kind of, oh it's not supposed to be like this. The first thing I remember or from my memory recall is Martin Henderson popping his head in to my audition on Shorten Street, which at that time was um, quite 
overwhelming because he was the young, you know, good-looking character and he was obviously checking up on who was coming in to play his new girlfriend. And then I just remember trying to get everyone's names right, you know, trying not to... I remember one day going, yeah, Sam. I mean, Renee. That's <laughs> what so I remember, worrying about what everyone else thought. The first week of filming was an interesting one. Well, the first day I started, I had to borrow $5 off Martin Henderson for lunch. Uh, I remember the first, the first week we were... But, like, on the show now, if we fall behind, say, by an hour at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's a bad thing. On the first week, we were behind by an entire day, and we all had to come back on Saturday. <laughs> and reshoot and it, it, nobody knew what they were doing and we were in this kind of converted warehouse that was we had to stop shooting whenever it rained and um the lo on the location day i was so incredibly bad that the uh director <laughs> made us go again and again and again and we finally got it right and then a certain person whose name i'm not going to mention wiped the good tape <laughs> and we had to come back on another day to shoot it I was nervous on my first day. I had to wear a towel on my first day. That's right. And come out of a shower. And Usually your first day on Shorten Street as an actor is a full day of location. And so that's like a totally different thing to studio, isn't it? Mm. And um, you're just bombarded with information and people. And it's just like, oh. Six months into it, it found its audience. And the audience at the beginning was generally a lot younger. And I remember the turning point for me was going to, uh, we were flown down, Rene Nafahu and I were flown down to, to Christchurch to appear at this fair. And the person running the fair uh, was saying, well, who are these people? You know, no one's going to know who they are. This is embarrassing. And he shoved us in the corner, you know, to sign autographs. And everyone flocked from the rest of this fair to, to, to meet Rene and I and to, and to have a their autograph signed by us, and we, we couldn't believe it. You know, it was the first time we'd experienced anything like that. And that was when we knew that, no, this show had legs, it was going to last. And, you know, people had taken it to their heart. It was great. It was a wonderful feeling.